I'm Hank Green. I have made a lot of videos about science on my YouTube channel, SciShow, so I like to think that I have pretty good idea of how the universe works. Like gravity. It's the force that makes things fall when you drop them. So if I were to, say, hold an open water bottle upside down, the water should fall out, right? In this illusion, you will see that sometimes things don't happen quite the way you think. You'll only need three things. A clear bottle with a little hole in the cap, an index card, and some water. First, fill your bottle almost to the top with water, and then put the cap on. Now we're going to cover up the hole in the cap with an index card and turn the bottle upside down. I'm pushing pretty hard on the index card right now. Nothing should happen because the index card is holding all the water inside the bottle. Now, take away the card. What's happening here? Try to figure that out. Then, when you're ready, hold the bottle over a bucket or the sink or just your desk like I am and give it a good shake. What's going on? Why is water okay coming out of the bottle sometimes, but not all the time? Why do you think this happened? It's not like somebody turned off gravity. Why didn't the water fall out of that hole? There are two secrets to the solution. The first is called cohesion. That's where the tiny pieces that make up water, called molecules, try to stick together. The second is called adhesion. This is what happens when one kind of molecule sticks to another kind. In this case, it's why the water molecules stick to the plastic in the bottle cap. Together, cohesion and adhesion created a thin layer of water over the hole in my bottle cap, which stopped the bottle from leaking. When I shook or tilted the bottle, I broke that layer so that some of the water could come out. Cohesion and adhesion are great for illusions, and they're important to scientists, too. When cohesion makes molecules stick together, scientists call that effect surface tension, and you can see examples of it all around you. For example, if you've ever seen an insect walk on water, that's an example of surface tension in action. It happens because the surface tension of the water is stronger than the weight of the insect. Surface tension is also important to all kinds of engineering projects and medicine, since it changes how liquids act. There's a lot to learn about surface tension, so if you want to learn more, you can try two more of our activities, the toothpick challenge and the clear slip cap.